Yamaha MT-03 motorcycle review. What's up everyone, it's Alex. I got my chance to get my hands on an MT-03 today and take it for a short test drive to give you guys a review of my thoughts on it. And this is one I've really, really been wanting to do lately. So here we go, Yamaha MT-03 honest review after an initial ride. Keep in mind, these are my initial thoughts over a semi short ride with it. But I wanted to give you kind of an initial honest review because I've ridden plenty of R3s. And this is a very similar motorcycle, but different in some key facets. Real quick, if you like what I'm doing here, hit the like button, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff because it tells me what kind of content to keep making for you guys. Let's just jump right into this thing. So start off with some basics. What we've got here is the Yamaha MT-03. We're running on a 320-ish, actually 321, I believe, CC. Twin cylinder engine from Yamaha, built off of the R3 platform, so proven motor. We don't even have to get into all that stuff. But set up, centered around an upright, naked, standard sport bike in the MT line or the FZ line. So you've got the upright, more naked, less body work, standard seating position kind of ergonomics, but with sport pedigree. In the smaller CC, obviously aimed at beginners and or advanced riders that want a fun kind of motorcycle kind of a category. So we're running a 320-ish CC twin cylinder engine. We are liquid cooled, six speed transmission, and Yamaha was even fun and cheeky enough to give you the gears right on the, the side of it right there so you, you even know. Chain drive as we would expect. Single disc in the rear. Single disc in the front. Slots denoting ABS. We are running inverted forks in the front as we would expect from basically any sport category motorcycle at this point. Very standard kind of almost vertical monoshock setup in the rear. And this one came from the factory with a set of Dunlop rubber on it. This has got a 140 rear on it, which is actually kind of surprising. I kind of got used to most of your entry-level sport bikes actually being slightly skinnier than that, but we are rocking a 140 rear on this one. Very basic all-in-one digital gauge readout. Nice kind of smaller profile uh, turn signals and everything to go with the kind of modern standard sport styling. So initial thoughts on this overall, what do I think? I think that this is actually for my riding anyway, from my perspective, is a really, really, really cool, very good, small CC, lightweight, beginner and entry level motorcycle in the standard or naked sport category. I think this takes what the R3 does and what the R3 is going for and very, very well translates that over to the naked bike slash standard category. So I think this is an awesome motorcycle for beginners. What I also think this is, is an amazing motorcycle as a second, third, whatever bike for advanced riders for something they want to go play with flick around and just absolutely hammer because this bike has enough power and enough grunt to keep you happy if you really wring its neck but it is calm enough and tame enough where a beginner is not gonna have a problem getting used to this if I started off babying this thing this thing was as tame as I wanted it to be and I had to really get into the throttle to wake it up and get a lot of grunt out of it which is actually what you want for a beginner bike but makes it usable for more advanced riders. It was very easy to get started, but once I started hitting little like twisty neighborhood roads and stuff, I could really crack this thing open. It actually woke up a little bit and I got a decent amount of grunt and a decent amount of torque out of it where it was really, 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 really fun. Also, the gearing felt very, very close together. So it makes for a very good power transfer with the smaller engine because you go up through the gears kind of quickly and it helps you with the acceleration factor, but it had enough room on the upper end of the gearing where I didn't feel like I ran out. Like in fifth, sixth gear, I didn't feel like I was just completely running out of steam with it doing 60, 70 miles an hour. So really, really good job, I think, on finding a balance in the transmission between kind of shorter gearing to make it to where that smaller engine is actually feeling like you accelerate nicely, but tall enough gearing on the top end so that in sixth gear doing 50, 60 miles an hour or whatever, you don't feel like you're just completely out of steam already. Staying on the transmission, the transmission was actually one of the most impressive parts about this to me. The transmission, while being kind of buttery smooth, also was very positive and very confident in the shifts. It gave you just enough click and just enough tactile clunk feeling where you knew and you were confident that you had made the shift, but not enough where you felt clunky at all. It was smooth, but at the same time, very tactile and very positive and confident in the shifting from gear to gear and the downshifting. Engine braking on this thing, I feel like is, is maybe a little bit powerful. I don't know if I would have wanted quite as much engine braking. It's pretty severe. You know, especially if I was really wringing its neck and then let off, I got a lot of engine braking, but you know, that can be a good thing and bad thing just depending on your perspective. 
One more thing about this motorcycle. This right here, this seat that Yamaha decided to go with for this thing. When I first sat on this motorcycle, this is one of the most two by four wooden plank feeling cinder block ass seats I have ever sat on in my life on initial impressions. But the positive in that is after riding for a few minutes, it kind of broke in a little bit to my butt and it actually got to be a lot more comfortable, felt a lot better than most soft seats. I find that if I get a bike that has too soft of a seat to begin with, it feels good when I start out. But as I go on, it's too soft and I actually start feeling seat pan, et cetera, through it and I actually don't like them. So over time, even though this starts out as a stiff seat, I feel like over time it actually is good for longer rides and stuff like that. Handling. Handling is this thing's biggest upshot. This thing handled like an absolute light, flickable, effortless dream. Now the R3 handles really, really well. I am used to small CC motorcycles handling well, but this thing handled nice and light and flickable as any small bike should, but very confident. I did not feel like the suspension was too squishy. Now, I only weigh about 160 pounds, so take that with a grain of salt. But to me, for street riding, the suspension felt good, the handling was excellent, very flickable, very light, very, 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 very nice, especially for the in-town and twisty kind of riding I was doing. I did not do very much open highway riding because I don't think that's really what it's meant for. Obviously, you can do it, but this thing is really going to shine on twistier roads and in-town, etc., which I think is kind of more what it's aiming for anyway. Very, very, very pleased with the handling on this motorcycle. So all in all, I really don't have much bad to say about it. Basically, it to me is as awesome as the R3 is, but for a different segment. What the R3 is to entry-level full-on fared sport bikes, this thing is to naked bikes and standards. I think if you don't want a full-on fared sport bike, this is probably one of the best beginner motorcycles I have ever ridden because it gives you that balance between ease of use and ease of learning for a beginner, but enough power and handling and everything where an advanced rider could be happy with it too. So this might be a bike you can get as a beginner and actually keep for a while because it might actually keep you happy very 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 much a smaller spiritual version of the mt07 and mt09 etc so all in all very positive review i'm very very impressed and very happy with this motorcycle there's a couple of small nitpicky things here and there and i'm sure if i owned it for a while and rode it for a while i'd find small things i don't like but overall really really good job yamaha i am really really impressed with the mt03 on my first ride that's it guys, I hope that was helpful to some of you. I know people have been asking me about this bike and I've been curious about it because I'm kind of a Yamaha fan to begin with and I really like the MT and FZ series of bikes. I had an FZ09, I absolutely loved it. I like naked bikes anyway, in case you guys hadn't figured that out. Aside from that guys, I'm Alex. Have a good day, ride safe, peace.